Welcome back, I'm Tedward and Boston Motorsports here in Brighton, Massachusetts has invited me to get a first look and drive of this new 2021 Quattro Porte Trofeo. With a top speed of 203 miles per hour, even though the speedometer, as you'll see soon, goes to 230, and it's powered by a Ferrari-derived 3.8 liter V8 twin turbo. And when we open the hood, you are gonna love what you see. So today we'll take a look around, take it out for a drive, but first, Let's start it up, and I want to show you this engine. Sounds pretty docile, right? Nothing crazy. But then, we put it in sport mode. Oh! <laughs> Alright, let's look under the hood. This is fun. And if you buy one of these, this is what you're going to want to show all your friends. Ah, yes, red valve covers. That's what we want to see in an Italian sports car. And appropriately placed cover, this little carbon fiber guy is beautiful. And if you've ever looked through the glass cover of a Ferrari engine bay, this little intake plenum is going to look very familiar. And yes, you are going to enjoy that as an owner. So let's take a look inside. The door handles are carbon fiber. Of course, we've got double pane glass, soft closed doors, and a nice, luxurious, oh, let's get those soft closed doors. Yes. And a nice, luxurious, and large rear seat. This is definitely designed to take your passengers at 200 miles per hour. The leather is nice and supple, exactly what you would expect out of this automaker. Yeah, this is this is not a bad place to be. And the rumble that I'm feeling in my feet through the floor, not something you're gonna get out of the BMW or the Mercedes. Around back, we've got this great carbon fiber diffuser as we listen to this exhaust come through. And these pipes, yes, they come all the way out. Those look real, even though that fascia is a little fake. That's okay, we'll give it to them. Trunk. Plenty of space for golf clubs or bodies, whether you're just a businessman or a mafia boss, this this will do the trick. And with a proper front engine, rear wheel drive speed machine, you've gotta have the brakes to bring it down. These look plenty beefy, we'll find out on the road. Let's take a ride. Ooh, we've got our little Italian flag here too. Not much inside has changed for the 2021 Quattroporte, although this touchscreen, I'm told, is upgraded, it's faster, it's easier to use. But inside, you know, we're just greeted with great leather, we have the new Trofeo headrest, and otherwise, you're just, you know, coated in luxury. Alcantara headliner, leather dashboard, red stitching. You can, you can option these out how you'd like them. But you know me, I'm just interested in performance. <laughs> Sideways out of the lot. I already like it. I think I'm going to enjoy this car. I think I'm going to enjoy this car. They're going to hate me if they saw that. Anyway, first thing you're greeted with is a nice thin but reasonably sporty steering wheel. I'm not a big fan of giant ridiculous steering wheels that you can't wrap your hand around. That does not scream sporty to me. And next you'll see these great carbon fiber paddles. They're not wheel mounted, they are column mounted. So they do not move with the wheel. That's very sporty, very Italian. <laughs> A little bit of wheel spin. Oh, she's antsy. This is no joke. This is the real deal. Yeah, that's, that's an honest 580. I'll give it to it. I'll give it to it plenty of torque too. Now keep in mind, we're on 245s in the front, 285s in the rear, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and guess we're not on snow tires. This is not designed for the cold weather. So my wheel spin may not be your results if you're driving this car in the summer, but we've got an eight-speed ZF transmission it shifts plenty fast and comfortable remember this is the limousine this is not just out there to be a race car to go 200 miles an hour it's meant to uh, to relax you and it does that pretty well especially because we've got double pane glass that's what I like about the Quattroporta you've got double pane glass all around so yes you, you did pay for a shouty Ferrari V8 but you can still be insulated from the world quite nicely
Yeah, that's no joke. And it's fun because I've never seen a 230 mile per hour speedometer before. I think the other cars, the lower, the lesser cars, go to 190 if I'm not mistaken. I don't have a ton of Maserati experience, so maybe there is a 230 mile an hour dial out there somewhere, but that's the first I'm seeing. What I would like to turn off is this lane keep assist. Not a fan of that. It'll put you in normal mode. I wanna see how you handle the bumps. A Bentley, it is not, but it's not intrusive, it's not bad. And, and to be honest, if you're buying the Trofeo spec, I think you're aiming for something a little more aggressive, a little sharper, and that's what you get. So while it's certainly not knocking my teeth out, uh, it, it, it's not an S-Class. And I think that's really why you buy this, because it's not an S-Class. If you were to buy this car, it's because you have a slightly different personality than, than the German Tourer that kind of numbs and insulates you from the world. This is going to be comfortable, but you're still going to experience the world around you. Back to sport mode, I think we'll leave Corsa off. We don't need that right now. <laughs> but, you know, at the time of this video, there really isn't any other video footage of this car. I feel like I'm treading fresh tracks in the snow. Oh, so much torque to play with. Let's see what this acceleration is all about, the character of this Ferrari V8. I wanna be a little careful on that throttle in these temperatures with a rear wheel drive car with this much torque, but my goodness, she gets up and goes. You know, it's funny, because you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me in my fantasy of what it was like when I drove an E39 M5 for the first time, because this represents the modern version of that. Like, it's a it's a big sedan. Granted, it's, sure, this is more of a seven series, but the way the power comes on, the way it's delivered, and the sound it makes, this reminds me of the first time I drove an M5. I mean, listen to the rumble as we come to a stop. Just listen to how it idles. Oh, that's wonderful. And it presents a bit of a challenge because you can't just stand on it. You've gotta roll into that throttle gently get into a gear and then allow it to put down that power and torque. Oh, this is fun. Everything now, all these all-wheel drive cars, I mean, even the even the new M5, right? Loads of power, loads of torque, but it's all-wheel drive, so you can just stand on it. So, sure, for the sake of performance and numbers, that's a treat. That's fun. You'll never think about slip and wheel spin, but if you like that aspect of driving, if you like the bit of challenge of getting a car out of the hole, that this is wonderful let's check out how she handles some back roads I mean, she's a big car this is not small you're gonna have to manage this front end that's for certain and we got a car this big this fast traction control systems for the most part are going to keep you from looping the car you're not gonna spin it but what might happen is you may come into a corner too hot and not be able to to turn it, and that's just physics. I mean, you've got a tire, a contact patch, and weight. <laughs> and if you can't hustle that weight through that front axle, it's all over, it's a game changer. That's why people like lightweight track cars. But ooh, this is fun. Even with this E-Pass system, I'm not really concerned about what's going on through the steering wheel. I, I can feel it. Oh, this is wonderful serious getaway car. And look at this view. See this turning radius. That's not bad, she's a big kid. Oh, look at our little Veloster N friend. 
This suspension's dialed in so well because it's rigid, it's stiffer than a typical luxury car, but it's not so stiff that it bounces. It hits the bump, you feel that bump once, it's over, it puts that tire back on the ground, it's damped, it's done. All right, this road, this is the ultimate test of a sporty, bouncy suspension that can handle putting that tire back on the pavement. Yeah, this is good, man. This is a nice suspension. This is wonderful. Again, if you're looking for a Continental GT, probably look elsewhere a little bit. But if you're looking for something sporty, rear wheel drive, I mean, God, this is the last, this is kind of like the end of an era. Let's see if we can't enjoy an on-ramp. little bright all right on the highway 72 miles an hour just cruising we're at like 1500 1600 rpm this thing is definitely just chugging along no problems down low obviously geared for over 200 miles an hour with these kinds of engine speeds look it's more than you need but it's not too much i like the balance i like a car that gives you more than you need because that's what you want but not so much that you can't handle it. I sincerely hope that Maserati has budgeted for tires when they send out their press fleet. This is an inventory car, so I can't really go do crazy, crazy things in it. But when the journalists get a hold of the press cars, this has so much torque. This is, people are just gonna be sliding them. I do suspect you're gonna find videos of people just doing monster, monster drifts in this thing because it's literally begging for it. It's begging for it. Here's how I'll leave it. If you were cross shopping this with its competitors, on paper, the Quattroporte sometimes has a hard time keeping up with the Joneses, with the BMW and the Mercedes of the world. However, I will say that this driving experience is worth taking a look at. This is a fun vehicle to drive. And if you're looking for a large limousine-like Grand Tourer, that's enjoyable, that's a little sporty, that doesn't just numb the experience for you and your passengers, yeah, yeah, you can't overlook the, the Quattroporte Trofeo. So with that said, I'm going to begrudgingly return this Ferrari Drive VA2 Boston Motorsports here in Brighton, Massachusetts. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And don't forget to respect the drive. I'll see you in the next one. Ooh, and let's check out this rear view camera. I've heard that this, oh, that's so much nicer. Oh, that's so much nicer than it was. Yeah, they definitely upgraded this screen.